Okay, so a pleasant day everyone. So for today, we're going to talk about III or inquiries, investigations, and immersion. So I'll be using this material from Region 3. So credits to SDO Bataan for the development of this module. So for today, we are going to look into the citations of review of related literature. So before we get into that, let's move to the objectives. So ano yung objectives nito? Here is the senior high school module development team. So here is our here is the list of the objectives. So at the end of the lesson, you are expected to define what citation is, enumerate the importance of citation in the review of related literature, differentiate each of the styles of citation with one another, and craft RRL chapter following the form formatting guidelines for citation and referencing page using the American Psychological Association or APA style. So, practically, if there is um, the, a tedious part ng uh, research writing, ito yung review of related literature. Kasi you would really have to read, paraphrase, synthesize, and you would really have to understand what is being talked about or what is uh, the content of your related literature and studies. So, ito yung part na hindi mo pwedeng i-rush, okay? So, for today, we're gonna look into the Definition, importance, and styles of citation. So, uh, as a researcher, you are responsible in all of the aspects of making your uh, academic paper. So, as a student researcher, you should avoid plagiarism. So, whether that's intentional or unintentional, plagiarism is academic dishonesty. Plagiarism is, is considered as an unethical practice of using words or ideas either planned or accidental of another person, of another author or researcher, um, or your even your own previous work without proper acknowledgement. So we don't really take uh we don't really take materials na parang ah okay siguro pedi pedi to or even if the person permitted you to use his or her assignment as yours, that's still plagiarism. Okay? Especially if you you claimed it as your own. So plagiarism practically is you take a material, then you claim it it's as if it's your own. Or you take a material, you don't do proper acknowledgement, and then it appears in, on your paper. So it doesn't matter if if the original author was your friend or your sister, basta walang proper acknowledgement, plagiarism siya. Okay? So <clears throat> moving on. So, for us to prevent that from happening, we could do a citation. So, what's a citation? So, allow me to highlight. Um, a citation refers to a set of rules uh, on how to cite sources in academic writing. Or a citation is practically mentioning the name of the original uh, person behind that idea or statement. So, whenever you refer to someone else's work, a citation is required in order to avoid plagiarism. So, it is a way to show your readers that that idea that you're presenting is not your original. Okay? Just like, example, ito. Suwain. Okay? 2015. So, that's a citation, although you need a space between. So, if I'm gonna correct that, it should be like this. Suwain 2015. So, for example, um, I made uh an article i managed to have it published online and then ang sabi ko dun sa paper is research can be difficult without proper uh without following a proper order or, or without prop uh without following a proper protocol okay kunwari ako nagsabi nun. then you're going to cite it you whenever you paraphrase kahit pinaraphrase mo pa yan you still have to cite sources. So, halimbawa, pinaraphrase mo, uh, the lack of proper protocol in in writing can bring difficulty in research. Then you still cite me. Sikat 2023, period. Okay? There are other ways to do citations. Uh, we'll go through that afterwards, pero at least napapakita ko kung paano yung process ng citation. So, as used 
as you are writing your studies um uh, review of related chapter literature chapter it is just right um to give credits to the original author diba kahit sino naman uh, ayaw naman yung kinukuha yung gawa okay then it is being claimed as if it's his or hers okay so below are the reason that you need to bear in mind while crafting and completing your chapter 2 okay here are the importance of citation First, it is help, helpful for anyone who wants to find out more about your ideas and where they came from. Kasi they could like uh, follow that. Like they could search for the author or look at your bibliography kung saan mo nakuha yung idea. And then they could also read it to, to learn or to read more about that person whom you cited. Citing sources shows the amount of research you've done. So of course, if you really like um, did a research, it would show by your bibliography and your citations but that doesn't give you the right to like do all matters na parang lahat na lang cited sources mawawalan ka ng voice dun sa research mo so it would still be a matter of striking a balance okay citing sources strengthens your work by lending outside uh, outside support to your idea so there's an outside support that means it's not only your idea Ibig sabihin, yung idea mong to, na pag-research na ng iba, naisip na rin ng iba, so, merong support, okay? It also, it is a basis of authenticity of one's study, okay? It's authentic, okay? You, you have the citations, you have your own voice, you have the supporting statements. And it ensures ethical and academic honesty. Why? Because we are humbly admitting that we need other people's work para mapag maging credible at maging stronger yung claim natin. Okay? It also reveals the sources of the information and knowledge. And then, um, it serves as a legal basis in crafting the body of your study. Of course, madami pang uh, ibang importance ang citation. Pero I would say that it's a way for you to strengthen your work. At the same time, it is a way for you to establish your ethics. Okay? and your academic honesty. So, next. Uh, by the way, remember, a simple mention of others' work or a part of their work may be paraphrased or maybe directly copied um, on the body of your academic paper is very important. Um, by the way, if I may suggest, if you're doing like a study which is APA, I really wouldn't recommend direct, uh, direct quotation. Okay, mas magandang pinaparaphrase na siya. Para kumbaga, um, there's a specific limit kasi sa number of words that you could copy. Okay? Hindi porket nakagamit ka ng quote and then quote, tapos kinopya mo naman yung buong page. That's not, okay, so much better na i-paraphrase mo na siya. Okay? And, uh, if you're like thinking of using a paraphrase or tool, iba pa rin kapag ikaw ang nag-paraphrase kasi there are, there are most of the time words that are not fitting for the sentence. Kasi nga, ang mode ng tool, ng AI tool, is to just produce words that are different from the original. Pero hindi talaga siya, hindi talaga niya makukonsider yung context. Okay? So here are the styles of citation used in an academic paper. So we have MLA. Okay? So MLA is for humanities. So this is what I used for like my MA paper. So pang literature. Okay, because you're really citing the page number, you would really have to, kumbaga, the, the, the format is different, like the last name and the page number compared to APA. Okay, so if you're interested about this, we could like have another video about this, but let's focus on APA. So APA is what you'll be using. Okay, this is used for uh, anthropology, business, communication, education, political science, and psychology. Ang ginagamit dito is author date system. Okay, so... Like this, parang Jenkin, 2003. By the way, uh, it would be much better na the more updated your uh, research is, the better no? yung citation mo. So, kung halimbawa 2023 na tayo ngayon, mas maganda kung 2022, 2021. Pero kung 2006 na yan, hindi na masyadong maganda. So, ako personally, pag gumagawa, mas maganda yung 3 years kung wala talaga hanggang 5 years. Okay? Pwede rin siya dito na Jen Jenkins, uh, open and close parenthesis, tapos yung year. Okay? 
So there are different ways to like write that or in his influential 2003 study, although I rarely use this one, mas ginagamit ko to or ito, or based on the findings of Sun and Cheng to 2016, that would work. Ang daming ways para ilagay nyo yun or gawin nyo. Or have a no et al. For et al, kapag badami sila. So just mention the first one and then yung year. Okay? Although for the page number, not that much, uh, the year would suffice, okay? You could also, like, write it this way. Um, sandali, highlight natin. Like, in ka Kavano et al. 20, 2009, as cited by Kavano, et al. 2009 as stated by so ang dami okay so those are just a few para hindi siya according to according to lagi okay so yan so always remember but for Chicago some some uh, paper uh, some universities would also use Chicago so this one is uh, it has notes and bibliography and author date so Ito yung mga, ex mga example. So, if you want to have this, like, uh, explored, I could make another video for this. But since you're not uh, you're not going to use it and the time is limited here, so, go na lang na separate. Okay? So, tingnan natin yung difference. You can be at all 2011. Okay? Dapat wala na yung period doon. It would work. Kahit wala na. And then, um, Dali, double check natin. Uh, so, as mentioned, uh, author date sa MLA, uh, may page number. Okay? So, supposedly, that's a page number. So, alimbawa, Gikandi et al. 2011. And then, you have Sarasin. Then, you find the page number. Halimbawa, page number 23. Oh, you could, like, check page number 23. So, when somebody checks page number 23, makikita nila. Okay? So, uh, ayan, APA ulit, Sarasin 1998 or Cardinal 2012. Okay? So, clear tayo doon. So, we could explore MLA and Chicago eventually. Pero for today, focus natin is APA kasi yun yung gagamitin ninyo. Okay? So, moving on. I uh, just want, um, task nyo na to. Okay? So, ayan. Move tayo sa baba. So, APA format of referencing. Okay? So, uh, for this one, yun ako kung ano lang yung relevant. Actually, you have numerous sites that you could use. Uh, ayan. I, I double check uh, the format for the uh, APA style ng et al. You just, uh, you, you don't really have to put that much of a period dun sa pag i al mo dun sa dulo. So, I'll give a sample. Okay. Type ko para makita nyo. Ah, uh, kunwari, Shao. Shao et al. 2019. Okay? Nakuha. Oh, isa pa. Let's have another one. Hmm. Okay, wait. I'm looking for a, a good example. Actually, oh, ito. William. Okay, or Mars. Mars et... Eh? Mars et al... 2020. Okay? So, did you get that? Or if it's um uh, if it's an external citation, di siya kasama dun sa mismo statement. Like, pwede siyang uh, really really et al period kama 2022. Clear tayo dun. Okay, sige. So there, uh, we also have different sites that you could use to have like 
the APA format for the referencing already. Okay? So, ito yung sa books, by the way. Oh, name, last name, then yung first letter ng first name, year, and etc. But of course, yes, it's good to have all of these. Pero may mga, may mga ano tayo, may mga sites tayo na pwedeng gamitin. Okay? So, we have... We have cite this for me, cite this for me. We have citation machine. You can also use Google Scholar. Yung ipo, i ano ipo press mo yung cite yung quote na part or even in other like sites when you see the cite this you you search for it. Just make sure na naka APA siya. Okay, so I hope we're clear with that. And ayon. For me, it's okay to memorize, but there would be there would be easier ways for you to cite sources. Okay, so for my students, I'll be um uploading or I'll be affixing here the link for the quiz afterwards to check if you understood the discussion for today. Okay, so with that, let's call it a day. Good day, everyone. So if you have questions or if you want to make me uh if you want me to make another video that is related to this topic, feel free to comment below and then let's see what I can do. So with that, let's call it today. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.